Did you receive one of these letters? Chances are you may have or will soon. Norton Healthcare is notifying 2.5 million people whose data may have been compromised in a cyber attack that happened back in May. The nonprofit healthcare giant was hobbled for weeks following that hack, but has since resumed normal operations. Now it's trying to help those whose private information may have been exposed. So to discuss what all that means, we're going to bring in WDRB.com business reporter Chris Ott. So Chris, let's go back to the very beginning. What do we know about this cyber attack from the spring and the data that may have been compromised? Yeah, well, it happened back on uh, May, May 7th or to 9th, Norton says. And the data that may have been compromised, I mean, according to this letter, it's more like what wasn't compromised. Uh, names, birthdays, social security numbers, uh, health information, even information about potentially financial accounts. So I would assume that would mean bank accounts or credit cards, things like that. Obviously something that really anyone who's a patient of Norton is really concerned about right now. So what can they do if they believe that they may have been a victim of this cyber attack or if they get one of those letters in the mail? Well, I mean, this letter is saying what Norton is offering here, which is uh, a sort of wraparound package of identity theft services that would include like credit monitoring. And it says in here, if, for example, you find out that you have been, um, that your data has been stolen and someone's tried to use it to say open up a credit card or something like that, there's a fraud investigator that this service will provide who will look into that. Um, I took a look at it today. It doesn't appear that, you know, that there's any strings attached with this, that you would be giving up anything by signing up for this service. Uh, it's just something that Norton is doing proactively um, to help the people whose information was exposed. And 2.5 million people, it's a lot of people. That's twice the population of the metro area. Yeah. So it's just a, this was a huge data breach. So moving on now to the legal ramifications, we know that Norton is already facing lawsuits over this. So could there be more? Yeah, there, there probably will be more. There's already been three that have been consolidated into one case that's kind of gained momentum as the lead case uh, here in Jefferson County in local court. There's another federal lawsuit just filed this week by someone who received one of these letters. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of interest from plaintiff's attorneys uh, to have a big class action lawsuit here. But Norton has already moved to dismiss some of these lawsuits, saying that they're premature. Uh, the people who are suing haven't showed that they've actually been harmed by this data breach just yet. So we will continue to follow this as it plays out in the courts and otherwise. Thank you, Chris.